Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sparkle Adventure. Today, I am going to go through the month of June in my bullet journal. Um, I remember at the end of May, I kind of gave a hint or a sneak that um, June was totally different. And I was right, June was totally different than May was. In June, I changed up a lot of the way that I do like my monthly setup. So, here we go. All right, so here we start with our monthly memories page. This one, while it looks pretty bland, well, I don't know about bland, but it looks pretty plain with just the pencil, but there's quite a lot of stuff there. My June was a really big month. And then here's my pocket page where I put lists and like there's some coupons back there, um, stuff like that, yeah. And then here is the really big stuff. This is totally different. So here's my monthly setup. I did a calendar page. Now, if you'll remember, I did a calendar page in May, uh, but this one's a little bigger. And then the way I put my events and appointments is different as well, because in May, here, let me go back. So here was my May calendar. I had my actual calendar on this page with some notes at the bottom, and then my to-do list with like my tasks and stuff. So June, I got a lot more detailed with it. Here's my calendar. Now the way I did this, again, the, the boxes are pretty small. You can see that. The boxes are pretty small. So I wasn't able to fit a whole lot of information in there, but what I did was I took a, a page and I folded it in half and I color coordinated everything. So like on the first, um, I was doing a drawing for a giveaway. So I put a green dot and then over here on my events and appointments little half page, I put the number one and then in that color what that signified, that dot. And I really liked the way this worked. I'm definitely going to be doing this for July because I like the way that I have plenty of room over here. You can see I didn't even use the whole thing for the month, but I've got plenty of room. I can also put stuff on my calendar if I want to, like ideas or you know, small little notes if I want to. I love, love, loved this setup. And then I also, late after the month started, I decided that I wanted to do the boho berry challenge. So I added a little elastic to it um, because I wanted it to go here, but I didn't want to tape it in. I didn't know where it would go. And I loved the Dutch door idea. I had seen it on Instagram somewhere and I thought I want to incorporate that here. Now, if I were to do this again, and actually, I don't know why I didn't do this already. I'm going to put it behind my events and appointments page because I like the idea of having my appointments next to my calendar and then the challenge. I should have done that already. I don't know why I didn't. All right. So next I have on the other side of this little half page, I have my um, ideas for um, blogs or pictures or a project no not projects um, just things I want to do for the blog some goals and then if I open up this page here's more blog stuff here's like an actual to-do list and then these are the projects that I was working on as I started something it would come over here and actually these I still haven't done yikes um, it would come over here so like this one which I'm not even doing next it would go here with the breakdown of, so like, so like these are the ideas that I have to go on the blog. And then once I'm, I've started the, the project, it'll come over to the to-do list and then it gets broken down into the steps of the process just so I can stay on top of it better and I know where I'm at in the process. Again, going back to May, I had this kind of mm, unruly to-do list or like, list of tasks or projects, things like goals, you know, things I wanted to get done. But I didn't, it was difficult for me to like get something done because it seemed overwhelming. So if you read my blog post for when I went to Texas, I talked about how my aunt gave me the idea to break them down into steps. So here's my June to-do list. And then if something had multiple steps, it went over to my project list although this is mostly DIYs, but this way I could break it down into the steps 
And I feel like I was a lot more successful in getting these big things done in June than I was in May because I was able to break things down into steps. So here we go. Here's our first spread in June. This was for the Boho Berry Challenge. It was like introductions or, um, you know, about me kind of stuff. And I was really happy with this one. This is one where I push myself outside the box to use a bunch of different patterns and colors. And I think it totally turned out. Like, this was one of my favorite things. Um, hello, I'm awesome. I love that. And then there was a coffee stain, and I put that there. And these little characters. These are, like, my favorite stickers ever. They came in a subscription can't remember which one, but I just love them. So there's that. This was National Donut Day, so I decked out my page in all things donut. Here was just essentially a to-do list. Um, this was just a tiny little bit of some stuff that I did, or you know, uh, half from Texas. We went on a road trip for a family reunion for my family, and it actually wasn't even like this weekend, but. This is where I ended up in the bullet journals. So there we are. These are some dailies. My dailies don't really have structure to them, and that's something I'm going to be changing up in July. Um, I kind of like that they're totally free form, but then on the other hand, like, I don't know, they don't look very pretty, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. July, again, totally different than June, so um, maybe I don't, I think I'm going to go back to a structured daily, and I'll explain more about that later. So the weekend before this, I had had a lot of kind of downtime and I didn't have a lot planned and I ended up not being productive and I kind of felt blah and whenever I'm not productive on the weekends, I feel like that leaves me with a ton to do starting off the next week and so I always feel kind of bogged down when I'm not productive on the weekends. I don't know if that's something that's common for other people. I mean, I do get rest, but I kind of feel like I rest a lot during the week after after my work days. I try not to do very much. So on the weekends, I really like to get stuff done. So, but this weekend, I, the weekend before this, I didn't get a lot done. I felt kind of crappy. So I started my Monday off by putting this in my bullet journal. Mondays are for fresh starts. It was something, a little quote I saw on Pinterest, and I kind of just like decked it out in stickers. Here's a little Japanese character, um, and I love... So Mondays are for fresh starts, and then I had a little sticker that says, so start. <laughs> I was like, well, that's perfect. So let's get started. Here we go. Coffee cup, a lemon, uh, I can't remember. I think it's from an Amy Tangerine, um, Amy Tangerine set of stickers. This is the lemon from the Pip Sticks package in May. Um, today is going to be great. So... Oh yeah, and then this little character. Again, like that other one. So this little, these two dudes and this guy are like my total favorite characters that I have. Okay, so here's this page. Oh, and this uh, pattern is from the Pip Sticks uh, newsletter. So that's what that is. And then here's my Unruly Dailies. This was another boho berry challenge. It was something green, and I kind of decked that all out with green. There was something up here, but it didn't really flow, and I just took it out. I didn't like it. Uh, my unruly dailies again. More dailies, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this actually, there was actually a page between these two. Uh, there were some freeform notes on one side of it, on, and then on the other side, you can tell this is Tuesday. I had done Monday at the top of the page, and then Tuesday went on the back of that second page. Well, on the back of the page that was between these. And I had tried to use a stamp for Tuesday, but it smudged, and it was really dark. I was going to cover it up, but then you could see it. it. It had ghosted through, and you could see it on the other side of the page. And I was like, I, I just hated it, hated it, hated it. Didn't like any of it. So I literally took... Um, some scissors and a ruler and I just like use scissors like an exacto knife and I cut that page out of there there's uh, I believe it's Marie Kondo uh, I'm not sure if that's her name um, she's the one who talks about like if it doesn't bring you joy get rid of it the art of decluttering or something like that I've heard all about it but I can't seem to remember her name um, and that's kind of how I took that page it brought me no joy I hated it so I cut it out I got it out of there 
and then I started over and then when I started over I put the day on there and then I went and I put uh, happy things I did a happy corner that's what I call these little these little bits of happiness in one spot I started it up with this flower because I loved it and then I put I can do hard things and then a little <laughs> character it's a rock I hope you can see that oh, it's not really focusing this little character that's a rock and then Rilakkuma, the little Japanese bear and an ice cream cone because why not and then Wednesday came along so I did another happy corner I was feeling really sunshiny that morning so I printed off this happy sunshine good stuff and then this little hedgehog with a balloon this was for National Selfie Day which I believe was Wednesday I had had these two pictures in a pocket from an earlier month I was gonna add them to um, a spread but I didn't have room for them so I kept them in the pocket thank goodness for those pockets I love those okay uh, and then I just kind of decked out a page it had been a minute since I had done a whole lot of creative journaling well it doesn't look like it but I felt like I had, it had been a minute so <laughs> I whipped out this stuff here um, these were obviously the selfies these were stickers from a unicorn thing these were two new stamps that I got these cameras that I loved these are from the uh, sticky club package in May I've used a lot of those already they're so cute and then this your sparkle is showing I don't know if that's gonna even show up yep nope and then uh, there's no one like you so love that page and then this was Thursday I wanted I wanted to do a happy corner I didn't have time I didn't have much time that day to do the, to do a whole corner so I just put this up there and I was like oh I'll get back to it later ended up not getting back to it whatever uh, Friday was National Pink Day so I wanted to do a whole thing here for National Pink Day I did this on my lunch break and I was actually late clocking back in from lunch because I was working on this as cute as this was I didn't have time to go back and add more but I knew that I wanted to do a lot more pink because pink is my favorite color. So yesterday I spent way too much time working on this. Holy crap, all the pink in the world. So here's my spread. I started off, I started off with this. I wasn't sure, I really wasn't even sure how to start the whole spread because I didn't have anything that I wanted to like base my page on other than pink so I didn't know where to begin so I got all my pink stuff out if you saw on my Instagram stories <clears throat> there was mountains of stuff on my desk it was chaotic and but it was all pink so I loved it okay so I decided that I would start with a saying to kind of anchor my page and I thought well I was going through some old magazines to see if I could find something pink see if I found a quote that I liked and I saw these letters that said make your world and I don't even remember what those were for those were separate things that I cut out and then I was like make your world what make it pink make your world pink so there through a lot of trial and error I finally finally got these letters to look right at first I had tried like gluing Mod Podge down and then putting just pouring the glitter on top but then it got everywhere and it didn't look like a word so these <laughs> I was telling Dan it's kind of ridiculous the way I did it but I loved it I hand put each one of those sequins down um, it was really intricate but I love the way that it looks and I love that you can clearly well I can clearly tell that that says pink um, so it was it was very detailed and it took a lot of time but I really am happy with the way it turned out and then I put all of these pink stickers, well, pink things around Make Your World Pink. So, like, I mean, it was just obviously a bunch of things I had on hand. This was some washi tape. This was from a pad of paper. Um, this was a sticker from my grandma haul, like, you know, stuff I got from my grandma. This was from Pip Sticks, Target. Oh, this doesn't even really belong in there. I had tried to get into some hand stitching on paper. But you can't really see the lettering against that page so I didn't use it but I don't have anywhere else to put it so it goes here this might be my favorite element from the whole spread although it 
took a lot of time to put together and it's still like I try to be very gentle with it even then it's already leaking over here I've got to fix that um, but an opening case of emergency glitter packet this I started by I had some just clear wrapping paper it's not paper but um, I guess it would be anyway something that a, a set of stickers came in so I cut it out and I started by putting this washi tape down now this is washi tape that I got from Target and I don't know if any of you have had this experience with this washi tape but it is not very sticky so I have a bunch of glue dots that are really holding this washi tape down you can kind of see well you probably can't see that but um, I have a bunch of glue dots all really holding this down and securing it so it doesn't come out and I wanted a label on there so it can kind of hang freeform because I thought that if I put something in the middle of the plastic you couldn't really see the glitter as much so yeah I'm really happy with that and then coming over here if you can see that it says sunshine all around this again was from a pad of paper that I liked I did this watercolor background it's got a shimmer to the pink this pink and white striped um, pattern is from a box that I got actually there was a pop-up Hello Kitty cafe in town this weekend it's pretty much just like a food truck but it was close and I had some a little bit of free time Saturday afternoon so I went by there and uh, I got a box of cookies that are so cute here's one of them here's one of the cookies so cute a little bow um, there was a whole pack I think it was like a three pack but I really liked the packaging <laughs> Uh, it, as a paper crafter I hold on to like everything because it can be used for something right so I kept the packaging and it had a cute little um, this pattern on there and I was like oh that would be perfect at the top of my page and then at the bottom here is kind of where I just went sticker crazy and I added a bunch of different stuff I bought this sticker in Philadelphia last summer almost a year ago from the San Rio store so I got that there um, and then these were in a pack together. I love this one. It says, let's all be different. I think that's so true. I think we should all be different. This is from Pipsticks. This is something else. Like th This was from a new uh, sticker pack I got this weekend. This little hedgehog. It's from Sticky Club. And there we have the pink spread. I think it's my favorite just because it has so many different elements that I totally, I've never tried before, like this glitter packet. This hand stitching, again, it doesn't really go with the page, but I don't know where else to put it, so it goes there. Um, this, I, the hand glittering that I did here, the watercolor. There's just so many different elements, but I think it all kind of goes together. So there's that, and then this is the start of a new week. So that is June. So my favorite things in my have to be the way I, I set up my month, which I'm definitely going to be doing something very similar for July, and then... And then the pink page. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting pictures while I'm working on a new project. I'm also really getting into Insta Instagram stories these days. So make sure you check those out as well. Check out my blog, sparkleadventures.pink, for this and more spreads, DIYs, information, you name it. All right. See you later.